Good morning, everybody. It's good to see you this morning. Are you excited about being in the house of the Lord? Amen, I am. Praise the Lord. I think this morning we're going to pray about the fires, because I'm tired of fires, aren't you? Amen. And I, I told uh, Hopi back here, I was like, you know, we need to start praying for some rain, because we need it. <laughs> Lord, send the rain, please. Uh, so we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Yes. Uh, pray for the firefighters and everybody that's been fighting the fires. And, uh, we're just going to go to the Lord prayer this morning and get started. Jesus, Lord God, we love you and we thank you, Jesus. God, we just invite you into this place this morning. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning. Lord God, we plead the blood of Jesus over this place and we rebuke the enemy in Jesus' name. Lord God, we just ask you for some rain. I know it's July. I know it's almost August, Lord. But you can do anything, Lord God. Jesus, we just, we really need it, Lord God. And we just ask you to just keep these fires out and give these men some rest. Men and women that's fought these fires, Lord God. Jesus, I ask you to touch them, oh Lord God. Touch the residents that got evacuated and put back in their houses yesterday, Lord God. Give them peace this morning, Lord God. And Jesus, we just ask you that if anyone is sick, Lord God, to heal them this morning and be with them this morning. Lord God, we're just so thankful for you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah, church. God is so good. Amen. Let me try it again. God is so good. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'll tell you what. Once I was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. Amen. Hallelujah. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in.
just lift your hands all over this house. Just receive the Holy Ghost into this place. Oh, my God, you're so good. You are so good. Thank you, Jesus. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell them all about the troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer my mind with you. A little prayer will turn it. No little fire was burning. You will find a little talk. Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk to Jesus. this a lot. Why did we come to church this morning? Why did we come to church this morning? Let me ask you, just why? You, you, you asked yourself this morning, why did I come to church this morning? Worship the Lord. Ooh, say that again. Say it loud, Mama. Worship the Lord. Say it again, Mama. Worship the Lord. And, and receive, Sister Karen says. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Enter into the courts of Thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bring your sacrifice of praise. Amen. Thank you.
like you're not in the room. I wanna look right at you. I wanna sing right to you. I don't wanna talk about you like you're not in the room. I wanna look right at you. I wanna sing right to you. You won't relent until you had enough. He won't stop till you had your whole heart, church. My heart is yours. Just respond to him. My heart is yours. You won't relent until you. According, Lord God, to Song of Solomon, Lord, that intimate love, O oh Lord, we seek it, O oh Lord. You seek it for us, O oh God. You seek to be with us, O oh God, every day, Jesus. Hallelujah. Rachel, I want you to testify to, about what you were journaling about yesterday. I've been trying to journal through the Bible this year, and I got to that part, and it says that God's a jealous God. And this is not his characteristic, it's his name. He's a jealous God. And some people might not understand that, but he is jealous. He loves us with a holy, godly jealousy. He wants to protect you and care for you. And, you know, I was just loving that this morning and yesterday. And I was like, you know, God, it, it's so nice to know that God loves us so much. He's so jealous for us that he doesn't want anything to happen to us. He wants to protect us and love us and care for us like we've never experienced before. A godly jealousy. Amen. Thank you. You know, when I first learned this song, I was, I had this place in my backyard. It was my sanctuary with the Lord and I. And I just sat up on this rock as I was singing this, and I was just weeping and weeping. Because I could feel the Lord touching my heart. I could feel the Lord ministering to my life. That time I was having a very difficult time, but God ministered unto me there. That's why this song is so dear to me. And to know that God will not stop seeking me. Hallelujah.
How sweet the sound I saved a wretch like me I was once lost But then I was lost in church.
Don't you love it when you can just praise the Lord? Don't you love it when, when you realize he won't relent? He don't ever give up on me. Aren't you thankful this morning for God not giving up on you? I know all y'all's been perfect, but I haven't. But I know, you know, you, y'all have never had a problem, but you know, yeah. But God never gives up. Isn't that wonderful? God never gives up. We're going to take up our tithes and offering this morning. Tommy, Don, and Bobby, please come. And don't forget, your pastors are leaving for uh, the General Assembly in the morning. Sometime, maybe by noon, <laughs> maybe by nine. By 10, he says. So, and, and so, uh, I want you to pray for our general church because it's very important that this is the whole international church coming together. And it's time for them to make some decisions. And we just pray that the decisions they make will be the, ble- be the blessed that God has for us. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for the privilege of being able to be in the house of God this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the General Assembly and everyone that is traveling. God, we just ask your traveling mercy to be up on their hearts and upon their lives and every car to be in their own own lane and nobody around them to hurt them. And God, we just give you glory and honor and praise. And we just thank you this morning for your love, for you are our Jesus. We love you. My chains of God are set free. My God, my Savior, friends to me. And like a blood, if mercy fades. My chains are gone, I am set free, my God, my Savior, has ransomed me, and like a blood, His mercy reigns, on in me. Walk out quietly, please. Teachers, you may go. Have a great class. You know, I look at things that these teachers, and I, I've been a teacher for many years, and, and one thing you think, do, am I doing anything right? But then later on in life, you hear these children speaking about the things we taught them in Sunday school and church. So here is your pastor. Woo! Amen. You love the Lord this morning. God is so good to us. And such a beautiful crowd this morning. Won't you look at your neighbor and say, man, you look gorgeous today. Amen. Amen. All you men, you look gorgeous. Amen. We love y'all guys. Thank you so much. I, I do want to say before I get begin, uh, begin this morning, thank you for everyone that helped with the wedding yesterday. It turned out to be a great success and a very beautiful wedding and a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And we just really appreciate that. And uh, also, while I'm at it, I want to thank you, each and every one of you, for giving uh, so we can go to General Assembly. Um, You know, I was telling someone this just last week. When you bless the men and women of God, God will bless you. Amen. That's proven over and over and over again in the Word of God. Amen. I I was reminded of the lady that only had a small little bit of meal and a cruise of oil to keep her and her son alive, but she fed the man of God. And during a famine, which I pray that we never go through a famine in the United States, but if you do, then God will never let your oil or your meal go out. Amen. 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 That's not my message this morning. That was just free. Amen. If you would this morning, turn your Bibles to Ezekiel chapter, or Exodus, excuse me. Exodus chapter 17. I 
I want to thank our worship team for leading us in the presence of the Lord this morning. Because that's what it's about, amen? amen? I could stand up here all day long, preach at you, pray for you, but unless the presence of the Lord is involved, it all comes to naught, amen? amen? But when the presence of the Lord is involved, the yokes break and the bonds are loosed, amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Exodus 17, we're going to begin in verse 8 this morning. It says, now Amalek, Amalek came out and fought with Israel and refed him. Uh, my, my tongue's already tripping over itself. And Moses said to Joshua, choose us some men and go out and fight Amalek. I'll get there eventually today. Amen. Amalek, thank you. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the root rod of God in my hand. So Josh, Joshua did as Moses said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let him down his hands, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands became heavy. So they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on, one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Then the Lord said to Moses, write this for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua, that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heaven." And Moses built an altar and called the name, The Lord is my banner. For he said, Because the Lord has sworn, the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Father God, I thank you, I praise you, I honor you this morning, Father God. Lord Jesus, just help me this morning, Father God. Lord, anoint your vessel, Father God, that he may speak the words that need to be spoken this morning. And not just anoint me, but anoint your people this morning, Father God, to have ears to hear and a heart to receive this morning, Father God. Lord, that they may be blessed and fed by your word this morning, Father. Lord, and we just thank you and we bless you and we honor you, Jesus, in Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen. Just for a little bit this morning, and my tongue is just uh, giving me trouble this morning. I just want to minister to you on Jehovah Nisi this morning. That's what this word is. The Lord is my banner. Jehovah Nisi is the Lord is my banner, which probably refers to the lifting up of the rod of God as a banner in this action. The presence and the power of Jehovah were the banner under which they enlisted by which they were animated and kept together, and therefore which they erected in the day of their triumph. You know, let me tell you something this morning. God is a banner over us this morning. He is a banner of might, and he is a banner of power. Yeah. Amen. He's not just some wimpy God. You know, you've seen those commercials that, that talk about trash bags, and you see the one side... Uh, you know, this kind of dates my age a little bit, but it just says wimpy, wimpy, six sad because the sack is busting open and trash is flying everywhere. But then you see the other side of the hefty side where it can contain a mountain of iron and never break. Hallelujah. You know, and I, that's the way, you know, I, I know that's kind of a cheesy annihilation, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, just know that that's how our God is. Our God is a God of power, and he's a God of might. And when we, when we fight and we work in his name, he has that power, that banner over us this morning. He has the power of might and power. He will give you the victory because his banner of power and might is over you this morning. Hallelujah. 
You know, we often fret, we often worry, we often do this, we often do that, we often wonder. But if we just understand that his banner is over us this morning, we don't have to fret. We don't have to worry because we are God's chosen people. You are his chosen people and he has chosen you for such a time as this. And when he chooses you, you don't have to worry about anything. But what do we do? We like to worry. We do it anyways. And I can only imagine God's heart when we worry. But Isaiah 59, 19, it says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the rest and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy comes in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. The Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. I want to I want to do something just real quick because we got to understand this. We got to understand this scripture. When the enemy comes in light, when the enemy comes, it, it doesn't say if the enemy is going to come in. Amen. Hello, y'all with me this morning? How many of you been under attack this morning? How many of you been under attack this week? Uh huh. Yeah, every hand should be lifted in some way because we all know the hell that we've been through this week. Amen. But you know what? When the enemy comes in, I like it like this. The spirit of the Lord will come in like a flood and raise a standard against him. Hallelujah. I like it like that. You know, we ought to say the enemy's coming in like the flood. No, 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 no. When the enemy comes in, because the enemy can't come in like a flood. Only the Holy Spirit can come in like the flood. Hallelujah. And when he comes in like a flood, hallelujah, he'll lift that standard up against him. Hallelujah. In might and in power. Hallelujah. And he'll flood your situation. He'll flood your situation. And he'll give you the victory this morning. Hallelujah. It's of might and power. That's the first banner. The second banner, according to the Song of Solomon 2 and 4, it says, He bought me, brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me is love. Hallelujah. Does this any sound familiar? The Holy Spirit has just been speaking this all morning. The, his banner over us is love. When you don't deserve it, when you did nothing to earn it, he still gives you his love anyways. Hallelujah. I remember a day and I remember a time when I was lost and I was in sin and when I was undone. But the love of God came into my life. Hallelujah. And he saved a wretch like me. I once was blind, but now I see because of the amazing grace of our living God. Hallelujah. His banner. You say, but I, I don't understand. Well, he, he puts it this way in a Romans 5 8 because he loved you way before you ever loved him. He says, but God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. He died for you. He bled for you. He gave his life for you. Hallelujah. Because he loves you. See, this is what, what we got to understand is that sometimes when we, we, when we mess up and when we make mistakes, we want to beat ourselves up and act like God can never forgive us because that's a lie of the enemy, by the way. Hallelujah. He likes to make you think, oh, God can never forgive you. God will never love you again. God, but no, 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 no. That's not what my Bible says. My Bible says he is a God of love. Hallelujah. And he is a God of righteousness. Hallelujah. And he still loves you no matter what you've done. And no matter what mistakes you made, he still loves you. And he's going to put the banner of his love over you. Hallelujah. The next one is the banner of peace. As Christians, we can have peace 
when no one else does. I'm not worried about what happens in our economy. Everybody's worried about inflation. Everybody's worried about gas prices. You hear that more than... Everybody's worried about the economy tanking. Everybody, you know, can I tell you this this morning? God's economy is not based on the economy of this world. You don't have to worry about the gas price. Let me tell you something. All through when, when COVID hit and everybody was panicking and everybody was hoarding and everybody was taking all the toilet paper, hallelujah. Anybody else remember that? Hallelujah. Toilet paper was scarce, and now you just can't get rid of it. Amen. Just shows you the fragility of our society. Amen. <laughs> you're like, you're way off topic. I am. <laughs> Not really, but I am. John 14, 26 through 28. It says, but the helper. Say the helper. The helper. The helper. You got a helper. You got a helper. You're not alone. You're not by yourself. You got a helper. What does it say? The Holy Spirit. Now, if you don't want to believe in the Holy Spirit, that's between you and God, but you came too late to tell me that the Holy Spirit doesn't exist. Amen. I thank God for the day that I was saved, sanctified, filled with the sweet heaven's Holy Spirit. Amen. And I, I've never been the same. Hallelujah. Whom the Father was sent in my name. He will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all things that I said to you. Now I want to stop there just for a second. He won't remind you of things that you haven't read. I had this conversation actually this week. The Bible does say he'll bring all things to remembrance to you, but he can't bring something back to your remembrance that you never read. That was free. Amen. Verse 27, he says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives to you. I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. But he says, I, my peace, my peace I give to you. See, we can have the peace that surpasses all understanding. In every trouble, in every situation, you could be going literally through hell and earth and you can be at peace. You say, how can I be at peace when all the things are going contrary towards me, when everything seems like it's not going the right way? Because I got news for you, my brothers and my sisters. Our eyes should not be on our situations. Our eyes should not be on our circumstances. We should not look to the right or to the left and lean not on our own understanding, but we should look to the Lord because that's our help, that's our trust, that's everything that we need in the moment that we need it. That's how I can have peace. Even when things don't look like they're going right, hallelujah, we can have peace going through the storm because Jesus is on our side, hallelujah. Thank you, I'm reminded real quick of when the disciples were in the boat and Jesus was in the boat too, but he was sleeping and they were tossed about with all kinds of winds and waves. But I just tell you, they got fearful for their life, amen. Amen. And that's a natural response for us humans. But Jesus, when they went and woke Jesus, he's like, oh, you have little faith. And when they, when he, after he told them that, he spoke to the winds and he spoke to the waves. And he said, peace, be still. We just got to remember this morning who's in our boat. Hallelujah. We can side the waves. We can survive the, the winds because we have Jesus with us. Hallelujah. The banner of peace. The banner of peace. You can be at peace. And people will ask you. I guarantee you people will ask you because they've asked me. It's like, how can you be so peaceful when there's so much turmoil? We live in a lot, uh, world of turmoil, don't we? Oh, Lord, no, Jesus. Amen. 
You want to be depressed watching these. But you can be at peace when no one else is at peace. Because your hope and your trust is in the Lord Jesus Christ. You can know. You can know beyond a shout of a doubt. You can know that you know. We, we talked about this on Wednesday. Having the mind of Christ. And overcoming every mentality that is opposite of the word of God. You can have total peace. You can have total comfort. Let me tell you something. You can be in the worst possible situation in your life. Let me tell you something. Eight years ago, and I, some of you have heard this, some of you haven't. Eight years ago, I was going through the battle for my life. I was going through cancer. But here I am eight years later, and I am still cancer-free. Hallelujah. But through that storm and through that time, you know what? I didn't worry about it. I didn't fret anything about it because my hope and my trust was in the Lord. Hallelujah. It wasn't in the doctors. Yes, thank God for doctors, and they help us. God gave us doctors. But my God, our hope and our trust shouldn't be in them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the next one. He can be a banner of strength. He can be a banner of strength to you. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. It says, have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. Hallelujah. Why, why, why? Because he has a banner of strength over us. When your weakness, he is made strong. Hallelujah. And you, you know, you, you may be in your weakest moment of your weakest time and you may be struggling to have faith, but I just got to tell you, look up for your redemption. Draw his nigh. Jesus is at hand. He can pick you up by his strong right hand and give you strength even when you can't. Hallelujah. Amen. He shall renew their strength. Oh, I don't know who needs strength this morning. Oh, yeah, I feel that. But the Lord has a banner of strength to put over you. Oh, Lord, God, help me. I got to go one more place. Come on. Come on, one more. Psalms 91, 1 through 4. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. Hallelujah. This last one I want to touch on this morning is the Lord is your protection. Hallelujah. He will cover you with his protection. He will keep you. Let me tell you something. 
you know, for all those that are worried about the Wuhan, hallelujah, and getting the Lord will put a barrier of protection. He's like, well, I've had it. Well, I, you may have had it, but you know what? I know the Lord is able to keep me and keep you to the uttermost, hallelujah. A thousand may fall by your right side and 10,000 by your left, but none of these, none of it shall come nigh thee, says the Lord God, because that's his word, hallelujah. We got to understand Stand this morning that the Lord is our protection and he will protect his own. Hallelujah. Come here, brother Delbert. Come here, brother. This is God's banner. He's a little taller, so I'm going to stay up here. This is God's banner. That he wraps over us. Hallelujah. Of love, of strength, of protection, of blessings, of provision. Everything we need is found in the Lord Jehovah Nisi, because he is our banner. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is Jehovah El Shaddai. He is Jehovah. He is God. Hallelujah. And he is everything that we need him to be. Hallelujah. He's the God Almighty that doesn't search for understanding. He's got it all figured out already. All we got to do is let him wrap him, wrap ourselves in his banner. Hallelujah. And keep us till the end of day. Hallelujah. You may be going through a battle right now. Hallelujah. But look up because you're you're about to get your victory, hallelujah. You're about to see your provision, hallelujah. Why? Because he is the God. Amen. That heal us, amen. amen. He's amen. the God that restores, and he's the God that provides, hallelujah. hallelujah. Whatever you need. Stay with me this morning. I'm done. Yeah, you're going to stay here for a minute, brother. Because the Lord's got something special for you today. Uh -huh. What do you need from the Lord this morning? I already know somebody needs strength in this place. I sense it in my spirit. Maybe you need provision. Maybe you need God to break some bondages over your life. Maybe you need God to break some barriers that you're not able to get past yourself. You know that they need to be broken. You know it, but you're not sure how. I'm going to tell you how. Your God, your Lord, and your Savior will break those barriers for you. Uh, yeah, receive that in Jesus' name. Receive it right now. You feel it? You feel it? If you need healing, receive it right now. If you need provision, receive it right now. Let him cover you with his banner. His banner of love. Maybe, maybe you feel unlovable right now. Let him cover you with his love. You say, Pastor, you don't know what I've done. It, I don't have to know what you've done because let me tell you something this morning. See this cross? Everything you've done, he already knew you were going to do it. Was covered 
on the cross of Calvary. Every sin, every wrongdoing, every time we've tripped, every time we've fallen, was covered. Uh, it was covered on the cross of Calvary. All you got to do is say, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I messed up. Mean it with your heart. Mean it with your heart. God, I messed up. I am a tree. God, I've fallen. God, I've failed. Oh, Lord, forgive me. There's nothing to... Oh, I can already hear it now. The devil's trying to lie to someone. Oh, you've done too many bad things. God can't love you. The devil's a liar and he needs to shut his filthy mouth. affections are full. He's a liar. Tell him to shut up. Oh, God's not going to provide with you. Shut up, devil. God's not going to make a way for you. Shut up, devil. Sister Lisa, the devil would love to say, God's not going to restore your marriage. But he's a liar. I am a tree. He's a liar. He's a liar. Put him under your feet where he belongs. In the name of Jesus. If you need to come to these altars, these altars are always open. you with this morning. We are his portion. He is our prize. Strong for redemption for the grace in his eyes. The grace is the ocean of all how many else of you have little enemy tried to lie to Tried to lie to you, steal your things, steal your joy, steal your family. How many others this morning? I want to ask you to come forth because the enemy is a liar. You need strength this morning. Come forward. We are his friends. Strong to redeem for the grace in his eyes. Grace is an ocean. We're all sinking. Heaven meets up like an unforeseen kiss And my heart turns up by the knee inside my chest And I don't have time to maintain these regrets When I think about the way he loves Home in the home, in the home For the grace in his eyes, the grace is an ocean. We're all sinking. And heaven meets blood like an unforeseen kiss. And my heart turns up down the inside my chest. I don't have time to maintain these regrets. You know, think of it. Oh, in the house. Come 
Lord, just receive this. He's a God of love. He's a God of compassion. Oh, it loves. Oh, my daughter. Oh, it loves. Oh, that the ash. Yes, it loves. Oh, it loves us. The enemy is a liar. You are loved. Oh, it loves. Oh, that the ash. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The battle restoration restore for these ladies ah, the banner of restoration restore what the enemy has stolen he has to restore in the name of Jesus all things sevenfold in the name of Jesus return it in the name of Jesus Somebody else needs this. Some of you have lost some years. I feel this in the spirit. Some of you have lost some years. The Lord's going to restore those years for you right now in the name of Jesus. He's going to restore those. Because that's what my word says. He restore the years that the canker worm and the locusts have devoured. He'll restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. days and there's times where you're not going to feel loved. 
Maybe that day is today for you. But the love of the Lord God Almighty is here for you today. Yeah, it's a little warm. Thank you. Thank you, my brothers. Jesus, Sam. Just stretch your hands this way and pray for Brother Jeff. Ha da di ya sha ta da da di ya sha ta da ya sha ta da da. In the name of Jesus. Ha da 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 sha ta ta da 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 di ya sha ta da 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 di ya sha. Ha da 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 This week, as you're going through your week, when the waves of life come up, when the hardness of life comes up, just remember the banner of the living God is over you. His banner, his banner of love, his banner of protection, his banner of peace, his banner of provision, everything you need is under his banner. Jehovah Nisi, our banner, our banner, my banner, your banner. Will you stand with us one more time, please? We're going to pray and dismiss this morning you love the Lord this morning feel good the spirit of the Lord always makes you feel good amen yes sir
Come here, my sis. Come here, baby. Come here. We believe everything's going to be all right, but we'll pray over. Some of your mamas. Some of your mamas. Come on. You know what she's going through. Amen. Let's pray for this young one. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our sister here this morning, Lord God. Give her strength. Lord God, just be with her every step of the way, Lord God. Lord, guide her, lead her, lead the doctors, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Make everything go smoothly, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, cause everything to go natural and, and the way it's supposed to be, Lord God. No, we speak against every complication in the name of Jesus. And we just proclaim right now that everything in the name of Jesus will go smoothly in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for that right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Jesus, right now, Jesus. the closest thing I could come up with before a banner. Amen. It works. We love you. We appreciate you. Lord willing, don't forget Wednesday night at 715. Yes, my wife and I will be gone, but we'll be at General Assembly. We're leaving tomorrow. And just keep us in your prayers. Keep the assembly uh, in your prayers, uh, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited, looking forward to this. And But... Uh, then, of course, don't forget Sunday, next Sunday at 1045. And uh, we love you. We appreciate you. Y'all be blessed.